Here we are then. It's Monday. Boo, 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 boo. But the beginning of every great week has to start on Monday. So, we're not going to whinge. We're not going to moan. We're going to get Monday done. We're going to dive straight into some sales first. That's what I do in my morning. That's my morning routine. Anything that needs to go out, goes out. So I can't start the video any other way. For £10, we have sold the last Hikvision CCTV bracket. For £37.99, we have sold this very battered, very tatty, dinky toy. This is a Vauxhall Victor. Absolute tank. They don't make them like this anymore. Shame. For £7.19, we have your. That's eBay out of the way. Now for Vinted, I've not been listing anything for the last four days. I've been very busy buying stuff. This week, shit's getting hammered. Vinted, from yesterday's video, paid a pound, sold it for £3. It's good business. David Scott made in Northampton good quality shoes. Sold for £9.60. The last of that bundle that was left under a table after I'd finished selling at a car boot sale. People are blind. I've made about 150 quid out of that. Cost me £7. And for £17, Need for Speed 2 on the PlayStation 1. 17 quid. And regarding platforms, that's all the sales I've had. I have got to pack my main man Graham's shirts over there. I've got 11 polo shirts I need to ship out for a grand total of £100 and free shipping. So that's in. I think that's it. I don't know. I'm going to draw some winners today for the competitions over the last few days. Get them out of the way as well. We've got the draw for the Lego Stormtrooper and the two packets of Japanese legit Pokemon cards. I say legit because some people seem to think because they're Japanese, they're not legit. Some Japanese stuff can be worth a hell of a lot more money. Thing of beauty, isn't it? Look at that. I've got four of them. You'd seen that in yesterday's video by now, I should imagine, if you've watched it yet. So I'm going to get those packed up, and then my job today is to list, list, list. I might even do a whatnot show randomly, just quickly pop up and get rid of some of that stuff on this rail, because there is a lot over there. It's overflowing there, there, bag there, there, there. Just stuff everywhere. So I might do a nice clear out for somebody. But I've never done just a pop-up before. I normally schedule and get some interest. So we'll try it, we'll see what happens. But let me start getting some of this packed. Otherwise I'm never gonna get it done. Well, I don't know how long that was. The clock's in the background. So I'll see how near it, but that couldn't have took more than 15 minutes. Now I've got to find a nice box for my main man Graham's shirts. I think, do you reckon? Surely it will. Let's have a look. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There. I don't know if they will, you know. I'm going to try it with the hangers on and just see if I can get a rough idea. Oh yeah, they will. They'll fit. They will fit. I've got to take all the hangers off, which is a very boring job. Do one fold over there. And then if I do one fold over there, they should arrive relatively flat still. Graham, if you watch this, look, I've tried to keep it all as flat as I can. I've put them in like this and then like that. But I mean, it's going to crease regardless. You're going to have to hang them when you get them, bro. There's not much I can do about that. I'm sorry. I'm actually going to bubble wrap this box, not because they're delicate, but for extra protection against any parcel splittage, because it could happen. It's only an Amazon box. No point in taking the risk, is it? This bubble wrap is the best stuff in the world. Look at this. It's called Easy Rip. Beautiful. Yeah, so the bubble wrap on this one is purely for extra protection from like box splitting, not fragility, obviously. So stop typing, delete what you was going to write. I have just realised I forgot to take all the price tags off. Not that I've told Graham what they cost. Everyone knows what they cost. I put a video on, but that's just an extra job for you, Graham. Sorry, bro. <laughs> Sorry, mate. I'll send you a DM actually and let you know. 4.15, beautiful. I've just spent 15 minutes trying to get a fucking label for that. Every website is down. Oh, it's slowing, it's spinning and stuff. Oh, I just, just couldn't be bothered. So I moved over to Parcel to go and that got the job done, but 15 minutes I could have been doing something else that is so thankfully that is all my postage done so as you can imagine yesterday and the day before 
In fact, the last three days have been very, very busy with sourcing and doing different things and getting stuff done to a point where I couldn't even list much stuff. It was Father's Day, which was really, really nice. I got, woke up to some presents and some things in the morning, got some lovely new shorts in the evening. I built a little fire and we all had marshmallows around it. Ada did her first ever little session of toasting marshmallows and she loved it. She's a wild child, man. She was trying to poke everybody's eyes out with that stick. But it means that I fell behind a little bit, but not too much. I don't mind that. It's not like I'm in the worst case possible. Something else really weird happened yesterday. Emma is constantly scrolling our local freebies Facebook page. She's always putting stuff on there, which means she's always finding stuff as well. Left my notifications on. That's really just pissed me off. She's always finding stuff on there as well. And yesterday I had to go and pick up a swivel chair for George's bedroom. We're gonna get him one for his birthday. But she saw that and thought, well, if I get him that, see if he likes it first, then we can get him a birthday present somewhere else as well. So he gets both. So I was out at co-op, dropping my parcels off, got a phone call, can you go pick it up? Yeah, no worries, no worries. I went and got it. Ricky? I was like, yeah, man, I'm here for the chair. Ricky resells? <laughs> Couldn't make it up. So Anthony, big up, mate. I think your name was Anthony. I'm pretty sure it was. My memory is really bad. Emma was the one who dealt with you. Um, but it's really good to meet you. And you're local, which means I'm not safe. I'm not safe anymore. It's always very nice, but also very strange bumping into people. I'm getting used to it. I'm much more, much more used to it now. But yeah, the chair is wicked, mate, and he loves it. So thank you very much. So as mentioned, we are going to draw the winners for the last few competitions. We have the Pokemon and I do believe it was the Stormtrooper as well. So we'll get those done now. Okay, let's get into it. First things first, we're going to do it for the Stormtrooper, uh, which is going to be this video just here. Pick a winner. Paste. Fetch. We're going to say, uh, I am your. Because it was, I am your father or whatever it was. Continue. We have a total of 96 comments. That is a lot of comments for one of these competitions. You must all want the Stormtrooper. And the winner is, let's not wait around, Psycho Kurt, Ricky, I am your guilty conscience. Yes, you, yeah, you, I feel really sorry for you, bro. <laughs> I feel sorry for you. you got your work cut out. Instagram, email, all links down below. Contact me. Let's get this out to you. Next up is for the Pokemon Bundle. The keywords were, I choose, and then you carry on as much as you wanted after that. So we're going to go for, I choose. If I can spell choose properly, but I can't. I choose. 63 comments on this one, and the winner is... Blondie9016. Ricky, I choose Sunshine. Yeah, me too, mate. Good choice. Could do with some today, though. Links. Instagram, email, all of that good stuff is in the description down below. Reach out and we'll get these onto the pair of you as soon as you get in touch. Thank you for entering, guys. I really appreciate it. We've got another giveaway coming up in the next video, so stay tuned for that one. Now, I've got a lot of work to do today, a lot of catching up to do. I need to slim this garage down. So I'm sure you'll forgive me when I say I've got to love you and leave you. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Please hit the like button and consider subscribing if you're enjoying the content. If not, that's okay. <laughs> See you on the next one. Bye.